Hello guys, today we will have another Laravel product review. This is Invoker by Beyond Code. And as in previous review, it's an honest and open review. I don't get paid for this, except for the license that I received from founders Marcel and Sebastian, just for testing. So let's see what is Invoker and what it does. It's an interesting product. It's hard to understand it from the first glance. So it is positioned as admin panel Laravel tool. So you would think it is something like Laravel Nova or Voyager or our quick admin panel. But if we scroll down and look at screenshots, we can see that it shows models, which means that it's for developers. So you can manage your data in your Laravel project in this way. And the beauty of Invoker is that it's local tool, which doesn't need any coding at all. It kind of goes in line with modern no code movement. So you don't need any configuration to make it work. You just connect to your project, specify the folder and Invoker reads all the data from your project and shows it in a table. So instead of being compared to Nova and admin panel generators like code generators, it's actually admin panel for developer. So closer comparison is probably to something like SQL Pro, DataGrip, PHP MyAdmin and all of those database management tools. But on top of just reading that data, it has everything that is built into Eloquent. So you can call Invoker database management tool with steroids from Eloquent. So if we open Invoker, I've done it on my local machine, you can open local project or set up SSH connection to your remote project. And I've done a local project test. And when I open the project, it's a pretty small one. You can take a look at models. So it doesn't show database tables, it shows models. So categories, cities, and other type of data with pagination, with export to Excel if you want, then you can click any line and view that and edit. If you double click, you can edit that. Or if you double click the date time field, it shows as a date time picker, which is pretty convenient. So you can update, click enter and save. And so far it does look like any database management tool, right? So no big deal. What comes with Invoker additionally is eloquent magic, so I call it. So if I open some model that has relationships here in the eye icon, you can specify what columns do you want to see in the table. One of those columns is relationship. Let's try belongs to relationship and then belongs to many relationship for belongs to. It seems to show only the relation and for belongs to many it shows the count. Let's save and we have two new columns. First is the relationship. So we can take a look at that user and close it down then. And for others, we see that there's no colors specified for that listing. To be honest, I don't have any data at the moment. So you can see the related data without doing SQL queries. Also in the documentation of Invoker, I found that you can see accessors as well. So if you define some accessors in your model, you can specify that as a column to be seen. But to be honest, it didn't work for me. I tried to add to the model get colors list attribute with some data. I'm not even sure if it would work or correct syntax, but it didn't appear for some reason here in my list. Generally to rescan your model, there's a refresh button, refresh model definition, and it should rescan. But even after rescan that accessor didn't appear. Maybe I did something wrong, but in theory, in the documentation, it should show accessors as well. Also, it's possible to add a thing called widget. So if you have a typical set of data that you want to query every time, some kind of report, you can transform that into a widget. So for example, let's add a widget for listings, expensive listings, for example, type value. There's two types of widgets, value and trend. And let's have a query type of count of records with condition where price bigger than 100, for example. We save and we have expensive listings too. So 400 and 400. And also you can move those widgets to specific widget area, which is your kind of homepage of that project. So Invoker is also kind of like a dashboard for some of the data that is more important, which made me think who is the actual user of Invoker? It seems to be a developer who works with Eloquent, but maybe it is possible to create some widgets that would be seen by a manager or CTO who doesn't work directly with the code of the project, but would like to see the real data without using any like SQL Pro or any database tool. But at the same time, there's a question then, if you give that access to the managers, maybe they may edit some data on production server. That is pretty risky. So I guess it's for developers themselves to see some reporting. 
A few more additional things you can do with Invoker is run some artisan command. For example, let's try to run something like make live wire component for chat or something. Run, and the result is here. I'm not sure a lot of developers would prefer to run these commands like this. I guess we're all used to terminal these days, but maybe to remember how that command is working, the syntax and the parameters, maybe it is useful. And also you can preview the mailables. If you use mailables in your Laravel application, you can preview them here. I personally don't really use them. I use just Laravel notifications with blade views for mail. So I didn't test that one, but also another invoker feature. And generally invoker seems to be like a starting point, scanning your Laravel application for whatever may be useful in the future. So for now it's eloquent data, artisan commands, mailables, and I see that in the future, there will be more tabs here on the left. And speaking of tabs, there are plugins. Let's see what plugins are released so far. Plugin Marketplace. And you have two plugins so far created by the authors themselves. Their own released Tinkerwell application that allows you to run PHP code or Laravel code instead of PHP Artisan Tinker is included as a plugin inside of Invoker. And also there's a plugin to draw your database diagram schema which is, I think, powered by Marcel Posiot free package Laravel. I've reviewed it in one of my previous videos. Let's try to install it and see what it does. We need to restart Invoker. Okay. Okay, I've restarted Invoker and let's see what we have here. New tab, loading model definitions. And without any more clicks, I have my database schema. It doesn't look very readable and perhaps there's too many things here. So for listing, it's hard to understand. Probably I can zoom it out. So probably this part is most important and most readable. So listing belongs to many categories and categories belongs to many listings. So this is an example of a plugin of Invoker and potentially I see more plugins coming in the future. And now we come to the pricing of that tool. It's not a free tool. If we scroll down the homepage, here's the price. You can subscribe for Invoker for $10 a month or $99 per year, or you can purchase it one time for $249. And as I said in the beginning of this video, I will give my honest opinion about the tool. So you saw the features and so far Invoker didn't impress me enough to justify this price. For database management, I personally use SQL Pro, which is free. It has bugs, it has some glitches, but it works. If I need to see some relationship, there's an arrow that I can use and see almost the same thing. If I need some reporting, I can write SQL queries and see them as SQL. Other parts of Invoker can be reached by Terminal or other tools which are free or part of Laravel or part of PHP Storm, for example. So I see Invoker as all-in-one solution for the future if you want to manage your data and have some steroids on top. And I think the price will get justified as the amount of plugins will rise and then Invoker will get more customers. But for me personally, for my personal use case, I wouldn't buy Invoker. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments or share your similar tools that you use to manage your data or do similar things like Invoker does. And if you want more reviews on this channel, actually suggest what to review. I may contact the authors and get the license and review some software or some plugin or some package and subscribe to the channel and get the bell icon clicked to be notified of new videos which I release daily now. See you guys in other videos.